for today, we start to take it apart. Okay, that should be close enough. Hey buddies, what's happening? So today, we're gonna take out the drive turn and everything from the original engine and um, we're gonna see how the LS engine is gonna fit in there and how heavy the modifications needs to be done to the body basically. Um, yeah, we start taking out the front end, the hood and everything, uh, getting transmission and engine out and then uh, we're gonna take a look what we uh, basically work with, I guess. Okay, we start taking the interior part. That was what it looks like, no cracks on the dash, nothing. See, everything is good in the condition. There's only 117,000 miles on it. So, uh, I guess we can make some money off of the interior to fund the drift build. But yeah, that's how it looks like. I have my tool set up and everything we don't need goes in the trash. Everything we can make a little bit of money out goes up for sale. But yeah, so that's the stage we're in right now. Now we pull everything out and take a look how the naked car looks like. All right, so we got rid of the interior partly. So the dash is out. Next step is to get the blower motor out and everything. So um, we're gonna remove the crash bar here. This brace string column is mounted to there. So uh, we're gonna mark all the, not the little ones like this one, but the big ones who are sticking in the out like this and this. So we cut all these off, we mark them, cut them off, get the brace back in after we got the heater box out. That's pretty much it. And we're gonna clean up the harness a little bit, like the one that's going to the interior lights. Uh, we cut that out partly. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, take the bracer out, and then we take a look at that. So here we got the thing back in. Heater box is out. Cut all the braces in the middle out and everything. Cleaned up the harness a little bit for right now. There's some more cleaning coming. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how it looks like right now. And now uh, we lift it up, get the fuel tank out and differential and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, so that's where we are right now. So till now it was just parting out the car. Plenty of room for a rear differential. The drive shafts are still in there. Uh, I keep the one from the front so I can match the length and maybe just get some adapters to fit it to a 350Z differential. But yeah, they're pretty sturdy, they should hold up. I kept the brace in the back so we can make like a nice mount. Okay, so the tunnel should be plenty of space. I'm probably gonna cut right here, or right here. Cut it out to the front and up the firewall to make the transmission fit in here. But we're gonna see that once we clean up the engine bay. All right, so the engine is out. And basically, we're gonna get the drive shafts out and the exhaust pipe. And then we, we're gonna hold the LS engine in here and see how it sits and what we all have to get rid of to make that work. Because the front axle and the steering is kind of in the way. That's getting quite interesting. But yeah, that's where we are at at the moment. And now we're gonna get the LS, probably get the bell housing and everything off and see how the engine should sit in there, should fit good in there. Yeah, here we got the old engine. Now we got the drive shaft out and the exhaust pipe and see how it's gonna fit. So that's where how I hold it in right now. So it should clear, hood should close, but I maybe have to turn around the air intake if that's possible to get the air intake up there. And then to the side we maybe cut this off. Definitely have to cut in the firewall. I would like to have it more back, but the brake boost is in the way. Yeah, the whole brake system is in the way. And uh, cannot really relocate that. Um, but yeah, it should fit like that. Plenty of space on the sides. Uh, 
yeah, I have to figure something out. Instead of with this big one, I'm going with the small one. So that's basically the piece we cut out. And uh, yeah, that's going to trash. Maybe I have to get that assembly part. Okay. Okay.